was a great exercise to strengthen the back of the neck. Usually when you have cervical imbalances, it can present a lot of injuries, pain, or inflammation around the neck area, and also streaming down line into the shoulder, sometimes into the back. Once we've established a few, I guess, assessments and or movements, and we establish that this may be the weaker point, there's exercises we can utilize to strengthen that set area. Here's one. This is gonna be a little bit more extreme, okay? We add some type of resistance vector with the anchors here, and we're going to try to pull everything back, including our neck area, to earn retraction in that posterior chain alignment, if you will. You will need a band such as this. This is a bit of a stronger band, and then something to sit on for this particular exercise. So I'm gonna strip this, or I'm gonna strap this, I should say. So here, okay, it's the way for that cervical curve starts to happen with the skull. I'm gonna pull that into that set position. I'll sit down, the anchor should be about that head height. As I sit down, I'm gonna let everything kind of pull forward. And as I make myself back, I'm gonna to try to squeeze back, pulling the shoulder blades down and back, and tucking my pelvis slightly too, where everything earns that flexion position, and then it moves into retraction to try to pull back and earn that strength. So not only do you feel that into the neck cavity, in the neck muscles, you'll also feel that into the shoulder blades, earning that whole profile as we sit through. Points of consideration, really use your footprint and shove your knees out to create that alignment or stability and strength throughout your whole kinetic chain. So you're not leaving your neck out on an island as it pulls back. And that'll actually help you assist that strong position as you sit back.